So what is up guys, I'm an OFFPC and uh, welcome to the first episode of you gaming top feats So uh, as you know in the announcement video I said this is gonna be a news show a gaming sp Specifically gaming news show about you know the top uh, news the, the, the top trending news of the week, uh, but Sometimes I will uh, say like related to gaming, but are actually important for example, the first story that we have is, um, you know, Stephen Hawking uh, uh, has passed away at 76 years old. He died in early on Wednesday morning in his home in Cambridge. Uh, the theoretical physicist uh, Stephen Hawking, we send you gaming sense the condolences to to his family and friends. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of um, like. Uh, games that start with uh, early access, you know, actually three games for example are doing this PUBG, Fortnite and Ark Survival Evolved are coming to mobile So PUBG is already out on in China and uh, uh, they announced uh, what yesterday the beta for the mobile version has been released on Canada the beta test they announced it on Twitter you can uh, find a lot of gameplay on YouTube right now so if you want to check it out go check it out uh, still Ark Survival Evolved announced uh, yesterday or two days ago that they're coming a free-to-play version is coming to mobile which is actually actually awkward because this game is so fucking badly optimized both on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. It's fucking shit. Not the get the game the the actual idea of the game is pretty cool. A survival game based on a an island, I guess, with a lot of dinosaurs. The thing is, the game is not optimized. It's not properly optimized for both for both consoles and PC. So I guess they they should be focusing more on that instead of, you know, bringing it to mobile. But I guess they want to um, take the advantage of PUBG, like PUBG is doing this. So I guess a lot more of these uh, early access games or maybe, maybe like some trip. No, I, I triple A's, uh, I'm not going to exaggerate, but, uh, you know, a lot of uh, games, you know, coming from this, uh, from this background at the same background, like early access that are, you know, trending games, they're probably going to end up on mobile i don't know why the fuck would you do that but you know sorry i'm swearing i know but i'm like that if i'm pissed off because it, this pissed me off you know arc survival evolved is not it's not optimized for pc and the consoles you know um and also pubg pubg is still working on <laughs> on a lot of fucking fixes for pc and uh, you know still still since its release on uh, the xbox game preview uh, uh, there have been releasing uh, multiple updates on uh, frame rates because the game is fuck this jesus like 10 fps when you drop from the fucking plane like what the fuck then how how the fuck does this game is even plays in mobile i actually uh, no, I didn't even watch the gameplay because I don't want to be sick of what I'm gonna see because you know I'm actually gonna try it. Maybe I'll do a gameplay for this channel for you gaming, you know uh, showing off This uh, these mobile games that are coming to Android and iOS specifically so next story we have Geralt from the Witcher confirmed as a Soul Calibur 6 character actually I don't know if it was like a week ago or two weeks ago, but uh, someone at uh, at CD Projekt, they, I, I think it was a community manager, maybe. I'm I'm not sure who did it, but uh, you know, a few weeks of like last week or a few weeks ago, uh, someone from CD Projekt Red announced that uh, Geralt would be appearing as a guest star on a game, and apparently, as I was, you know, from from games that were being released this year, the only the only game that came up to my mind was uh, Soul Calibur 6. You know, it's uh, you need to check out the fucking trailer because Geralt looks sick. He looks fucking amazing. Next story, we have Drake and Ninja's Fortnite Twitch stream wasn't a sponsored gimmick. What? Oh my god, this I actually didn't even uh, read this uh, news. But uh, you know, uh 
I, what, what was it like two days ago maybe three days ago that uh, you know one of the biggest twitch streamers in the moment one of like I think he's he has the most paid subscribers on twitch right now and uh, actually he played with uh, Drake with a musician as you know and I th you know they 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 broke a lot of records you know the most watched stream with a 600,000 concurrent viewers which fucking blows up my mind you know the, it wasn't a sponsored gimmick according to IGN uh, the the get together was smashed Twitch streaming records was unplanned. Apparently, Drake, a big Fortnite fan himself, simply reached out to Ninja last week on Instagram to schedule some time to play together. I guess it wasn't a actually it wasn't a a, sp a sponsor deal or whatever. So yeah, you have that. Uh, next next news. It was announced that Blue Point Games' next project is also a remake. But a remake means that they're gonna completely change the game. Not, you know, you know not the story, but the gameplay, graph, everything, I guess. It's a bit different. You know, remake, you do a bit more than a remaster. That's what I, that's what I think. Uh, so, they're gonna do a remake, but um, they say it's gonna be bigger the next project is a remake bigger than shadow of the colossus so you know shadow of the colossus is a pretty well-known game i think from their ps2 era and from the remake no the remaster they did on ps3 with eco was a collection i actually I actually bought that collection when I had the PS3. I still have the PS3, but you know, when the PS3 was the shit, you know, I bought that collection and really fucking enjoyed both of the games and actually wanted to try Shadow of the Colossus on the PS4. Uh, but you know, I don't know. They 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 didn't tease anything, but uh, you know they didn't give any clues. They they only said it's gonna be bigger than Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know. I don't know what that means. If it's bigger, like on the asset, maybe the IP uh, is bigger. Maybe I'm not sure because you know Blue Point is um is a first party studio I think for Sony, so it's probably gonna be a a, rem a remake of a PlayStation classic. I'm not sure, you know, they didn't give any fucking clues. So, the last news, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 has been uh, rumored a lot. Uh, and so in this fucking week, Jesus, I, I just can't stop hearing about it. Fuck, my God, I'm, I'm just sick and tired. You know, so it appears that uh, an Amazon listing for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered uh, appeared on, you know, Amazon, Amazon with a release date of April 30th. That shit is, fu that is fucking bullshit. I don't believe it. Because, you know, how, why, why the fuck would they do this? You know, just just do a, a surprise release of one of their, you know, most uh, most well-known Call of Duties and actually one of the best, uh, or for some people, actually the best Call of Duty that uh, has been released till this date. So, and actually for 20 euros, I don't think so. You know, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, released at 40 euros, uh, $40 or whatever the fuck is the, the price, you know, 40 euros, at least in Europe. So <laughs> that's impossible, you know, being rumored for 20, for 20 euros. That is impossible uh this this is this is fake news you know it's it's not actually it's not even news it's a rumor so i think it's uh it's not it's not going to be possible i and even though, you know, you're getting Call of Duty, you're getting Black Ops 4 this, uh, this what, this fall, I don't think it is a good idea to release. Okay, maybe, maybe if you think, well, you know, uh, the modern, uh, the, the Call of Duty uh, World War II game has been uh, decreasing, you know, the, the players have been, you know, stopped playing the game because, you know, it's too, it's, it's Call of Duty, it, it dies, uh, like, by the time, you know, uh, the game is released, uh, it, it has always been like that uh, so it's it would be a good idea you know to keep the players you know interested in call of duty but um i don't know if actually because if if they would launch the modern warfare 2 remaster they would probably uh, launch it uh, with black ops 4 but that doesn't make any sense because uh, modern warfare 2 was uh, made by infinity infinity ward and black ops 4 is being made with uh, by um, treyarch so i don't know if 
if that makes sense but you know this game has been rumored for a few months now so and people have been asking uh, for it <sighs> Jesus, I don't know. I my fucking Twitter. I just see you know Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and shit, man. Oh, fuck, and ju I'm just sick of it. You know, hearing that. You know, just I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't actually have anything else to do to say about this game. So uh, it's it's probably not true. You know, this was uh, probably Amazon fucking up Amazon Italy, especially. You know, they were the ones that uh, did this mistake. I don't know if it is a troll, but I would I would rather think it is a troll because it. I don't think they're gonna do it since they have the um, what is it called the event the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 event it's gonna be in May so it would make sense for them to announce Modern Warfare 2 Remastered in that event since it's in May so uh, the date is not uh, making a lot of sense so this is it guys you know I hope you enjoyed this first episode of you gaming top feeds and yeah see you on the next week on the next episode of you gaming top feeds and tomorrow on the by player two player podcast the first episode too so you know uh, don't forget it to check it out so yeah bye now guys peace so